<laughs> okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Ana Esteve Llorenz. I am a um, visual artist originally from Spain, living in, and working in Austin, Texas. I came to Austin about 15 years ago already as an exchange student. And, uh, and since then I have, coming, I have been coming back and forth, but I now live here in Texas. Um, the person who invited me to do this, to participate in this project is my friend and artist Naoko Wosugi. So it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I have been um, in the last years working in my studio and also teaching. So it's been a, you know, a combination of both where I cannot kind of separate one from the other. I think once you start participating in, the, in academia or like in the education world, it almost all blends together. Um, so when this, when this pandemia happened, it, it was a, almost like, you know, it was, it was kind of the same too. Um, the way it impacted my life, obviously we, we had to stay, um, we couldn't go outside. So, but the, the making of the work and the teaching had to happen. So we had to rely on digital platforms um, and kind of reinvent, reinvent the way we relate to each other. So that was strange, but also interesting as an experience. Um, yeah, so, but also as an artist, because we spend so much time uh, by ourselves in the studio, I guess that was kind of one of our advantage because we were kind of used to be by ourselves, right? So like that loneliness is not, is, it's familiar to us. So that, I, think, I think that was an advantage and that was something that didn't feel strange. But what, what it felt strange was the impossibility of physically relating to friends and family and even to, to my students. So that's, I, I would say, the main impact of this crisis in my day-to-day -day life. Um, and then, you know, also as artists, I think we have to motivate ourselves to keep making work a lot of times. And that, you know, the, maybe like the, the, page, the passion for our making was one of the motivations to continue, as always. But also the net of friends around you know me were very important like being able to take the phone and establish a conversation and like support each other i think that was crucial and it still is as we are talking um yeah and um also like you know there, there has to be hope so we have to if not in the same way we have to think about alternative options to continue and to move forward what I've learned about this crisis maybe is to go back to appreciate the things that I did not have forgotten, but maybe I had taken for granted. So yeah, I've, I'm like, you know, paying more attention to what I cook every day, to, to, to who I speak with, to, you know, um, to the sunsets and the sunrises, everything that is more related maybe to nature and the rhythms dictated by nature have been have become more um, more present, I would say. But yeah, I'm positive. I think we'll make it and we'll get reinforced out of this crisis. <laughs> 